A little birdie told me you like short videos, so we're gonna make one. This video is gonna show you how to install Twerp, which is a custom recovery, so you can do an Android backup, meaning you make an image of your phone. If your phone starts acting up later in the future, all you've gotta do is restore that Android backup, and everything is exactly the way it is right now before you do your backup. So like if you try out a new app or if you do something and now your phone doesn't boot, you'll be able to quickly restore your phone. So uh, what you're gonna need to do is open up a web browser, preferably use Chrome, and then in your search bar type in bit.ly slash note for twerp. Slash capital N O T E four and then capital T W R P and then go. And then this is going to take you to a page where it's going to have all the variants. And right now only the Sprint and T-Mobile versions are there because if you bought an AT&T or Verizon Note 4, it's locked. There's not much you can do um, besides like an exploit that gives you root. You won't be able to like flash ROMs. This means that CyanjMod should be coming to our device very, very soon. That also means I will be doing a video on how to install CyanjMod very, very soon. Very exciting. So we have the T-Mobile version. Obviously, if you have the Sprint version, go to the Sprint. And uh, I recommend clicking this Textura or Terextra or whatever link here. And uh, you're going to have some choices here. Now, on this screen, please always go with the one that's the latest. If 2811 comes out, please do not flash 2810. Please always go with the latest version. There's a few different ways you could do this. You can use a DD method. You can use an app on your phone that requires root access. I got root through CF Auto Root. I can link to my video on how to root your Note 4 in the description. To follow this video, you are going to have to be rooted. Uh, if, you, if you're not rooted and your bootloader is not locked, you'll be able to flash this little tar with Odin and then you'll be able to flash Super SU in your custom recovery and you can root without using CF Auto Root. But we did use CF Auto Root so, and we have stock recovery on device right now, so we're going to click on the image. And then it's going to have a little counter. It's going to count down. And then after it's count, done counting down, da 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 da. Yeah, you're always going to go with the image if you're going to be using like your, like an app to flash it. You want to download the tar if you're going to use Odin to flash it. And you want to download the zip if you're going to use like a, like a, an older twerp recovery to flash a newer twerp recovery. So there's the twerp recovery there. We're going to go to the Play Store and we're going to search for an app called Rasher. R A S H. Oops, my bad. H. Oh, come on. H R. Trying to type behind the camera. It's not the best thing in the world. So it's by DSL Nexus. It used to be called Recovery Tools. Very good app. Very awesome. And also, I'm going to have one additional step for you in case. Once you install custom recovery, you're not going to install an update. You're going to have to use Odin and Flash a stock tar. So how you're going to get around that is when you open the app up and ask for root, we're going to grant it. And then under here, hit backup, please. Right now we're on stock recovery. If I hit backup, four, 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 stock recovery oh well okay so pressing that will get you there so <laughs> this actually this is where you name it that so four 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 stock recovery go Okay, so now you have your recovery backed up. If there's an OTA available in the future to update your phone, you can just go in here and go to your recovery and you can do a restore of that recovery. So if we go to like other from storage here, it should be backed up somewhere in here. But this video is gonna show you how to flash custom recovery. So go to recovery, choose other from storage and go to your download folder. You're gonna see twerp, 2810, of course, if you download the later one, just flash the later one, no big deal. And then also make sure TMO, T-Mobile, SPR, Sprint, etc. Now this is T-Mobile, so we're, we're flashing the right one. Yes, please. 
Now you can choose yes please and it will take you immediately to recovery, but I'm going to show you how to do it manually. And this is, the video is almost done now, I promise. We're hitting five minutes so it's not that short, but I like to explain things, man. I don't like to just say click this, click that, mm, you've done it, now what else do you do? I like to be a little bit more thorough. So volume down, home, power, keep holding it. I, I think I just did the wrong one actually. Yes, I did do the wrong one, so cancel, volume up, home, and power. Now it says recovery booting at the top there. Keep in mind, rooting did void your warranty. So flashing twerp will as well. Uh, wow, it says the CPU temperature. That's pretty cool. And there you go. Uh, first thing I recommend doing is going to backup. Choose your boot, system, data, EFS, and modem. Uh, don't worry about cache and don't worry about recovery. And then you'll want to enable compression for a smaller file size. And you'll want to move this to your micro SD card if you have one inserted. Press OK, and then swipe to back up. Now I'm actually going to do that after this video, so it's very important. And for backup name, you can keep it that. You'll know that I'm on um, the build, out, which is, that should be wrong. I should, I'm on NJ7, I believe. Anyways, you can name this stock 444 with root, and then hit you know a swipe to back up. Make a backup of your phone. I recommend doing that. I am going to do it, but it would make this video significantly longer. So now we can do things like go to our internal storage, we can go to our download folder right here, and we can flash super SU, and oh I need to go up to the zip, and then flash the zip. And see if you if you used Odin to flash this, you're gonna have to flash the super SU zip in order to have root. So there we go. That was how to install Twerp Custom Recovery, how to make an Android backup of your phone in case you get stuck and you, <laughs> you don't get past the screen or your phone's acting up, your battery life's terrible or whatever. So it's pretty freaking awesome. If the video helped out, please give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. You're going to see this if you flash Super SU because it's installing the Super SU to the system. So just to show you real quick. When we open the Super SU app, right here, and go to settings, it's going to say that it is already a system app. Yep, Super SU is already a system app because we installed it with Tor Recovery. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Please, you know, <laughs> keep being awesome. This is what would Josh do, and I'm out.